Hey everyone and welcome to my place. I am busy getting ready for Christmas. Uh, I know it is a bit early for a lot of you because we are only in September, but I've got a busy couple of months coming up so I've got all my Christmas stuff out. This is what I wanted to show you today. This is a wreath on top of an urn, and what I've done is I've just popped in a few berries, lots and lots of apples, and a few roses. Now as my base, this can be done now, which can be a really lovely standalone design, and then as I get to Christmas, I can put fresh lilies into it, I can put some cones, I can put all sorts of bits and bobs in it. I really, really like this using a, a wreath base as my sort of structure for work that I'm going to be, well, I actually prefer a wreath because it's easy to work with because it's a nice big thick base to start with. Give me a few minutes, I'll strip this down and I'll show you how quick and easy it is to put together a wreath with a difference. See you in a minute. So let's get into it. Okay, I've got another lovely urn here. I love these old rustic urns. And very soon, when I have got time, probably after Christmas, I'm gonna show you how to do this rust paint effect. It is just fantastic. Okay, so with my container, I've got a cavity in there. What I've done is I've just got an O bowl and I've put a bit of foam into that. And look, I'm just reusing foam for today. I would be using a new block of foam, but we'll get into that again. So here I've got a wreath and on top of that, I've, well, I've actually got two wreaths. This was actually a garland that I joined together. And then I had this little wreath here that's been lying around forever and ever and ever. I've just put that on top of the other one and that is going to sit into there. Isn't it just fantastic? A really great base. The reason I'm using the, the wet foam into here which is actually down beneath the forms that I'm using is because as I said like it, when it gets near to Christmas if I wanted to I could put some fresh Christmas lilies in there I could put a fresh living poinsettia I could put some roses whatever I wanted to can go into there right starting off I've got three lots of berries so what I'm going to do with those is I'm just going to nestle those into there I've only got three so I need to have equal distance between this placement and the next placement and I'm actually bringing those round like a wreath. So instead of doing a wreath that would be, well it's the same principles to anything else that we do but um, with the three lots of berries it's just equal distance running those around so that they are in like that wreath formation or that circular motion. Right I've got some apples here with those what I'm going to do is just push those down into there. What I've actually done is and these are all artificial you could use fresh if you wanted to I've just used a satay stick and I just put the satay stick down in through the skins there and then push those down into the wreath and try if possible if you can to actually hit that wreath so that the, the foam down in there so that it sticks into there. I'll bring one up into there, no I won't, I'm going to bring it down into there, push that through and push these in so that they're really quite tightly jammed in. I've got another one of those, so I'll put that into there. Right, with these green apples, I'll put that into there. I've got a pear. Let's bring the pear up into here like so. Oh, so that's around there. So I've got a pear there. I've got an apple there. Let's bring a pear into there. Push that down into there. I've got another apple, so I might as well bring that apple in through to there. And then what I'm doing is I'm sort of like slowly, slowly, slowly graduating those up into that centre. And some of these are really good to stick things into and others are not. Right, that can go into there. I've got one more of those, that can go into there, bringing those in to fill into the centre in any type of way. Now these are fresh apples and with the, like, when you look at them, it's really quite difficult to tell that one is artificial and one's fresh, but this is sort of like a little bit of a waste of food that using these into here, but never mind, they were sitting in the, uh, the fruit bowl and nobody was doing anything with them. Now, with the roses, what all I'm going to do is I'm just going to push that into there like that. I've got another one there, put that onto there, because these are just to be placed as sort of like a tribute to Christmas or just in preparation. Okay, so putting those all through there, tucking those down into there. If you wanted them to permanently stay and you see this is what happens because I'm very naughty and I cut things but what I sometimes do is and I'll show you if I just want to give it give it a bit of extension just get that like that and then put a little hole into that and then push that right down into there like 
Oh, so, and then that just goes into there, perfect. Now, just before Christmas, as I said, you can put fresh, take the artificial out, you can put some fresh in, get some pine cones, they could be perhaps nestled into there, like so. But look, I really love this type of designing because it's so quick and easy. And you know, you might be going away for the holidays this year, so you know, you can do all of these things now and have them all ready in advance for Christmas. So look at that, just quickly changing that around. I will We'll come back to this because there's lots of other things that I want to show you with doing that, that with doing Christmas things that just don't always have to be Christmas that you can use them all year round so and you normally what I would do is I would probably for a Christmas display put a few cones down there this could have some baubles put into it I could there's any number of things that I can use with this so we will come back to it I hope I have been of assistance and I will see you another day